In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an animated notification in Figma. So here is how it should work. Once we preview this detail page, after maybe three seconds, this notification card should slide in. And then when I drag it to the left side, this clear button should appear and it should be interactive as well. So what do we need to do? First of all, I'm going to select this notification card here. As you can see, it's a responsive frame, but I'm going to put it inside another frame. And the reason is, as our starting point, we need to make this notification card disappear. All right. So we need to somehow mask it. And to mask it properly, we need to have a frame as well. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click on frame selection. OK, let's rename it to notification. There we go. Next, I'm going to turn it into a component as usual. All right. And we need a few variants as well. But before I create variants, I'm going to modify the height of this frame, because as I said, in our starting point, we shouldn't be able to see this notification at all. So before I create the variants, I'm going to increase the height of this frame. Something like this should work. And then I'm going to add a variant to it just like this. So we have two variants here. And for this component, we need to have two different properties. All right. We need to have the visible property and the clear property. Why do we need these two properties? So as I said before, this notification card shouldn't be visible and it should slide in after a few seconds. So as our starting point, we need to hide it. That's why we need the visible property. And the clear property is for when we need to make this button appear or disappear. So let's go ahead and create these properties. I'm going to select this notification component set and I'm going to head over to the properties section here in the design inspector. All right, here let's rename this property one to visible. Okay. And then I am going to hit this plus button to create a new property and I'm going to name it clear just like that. So in total, we have two properties. Now, as for the starting point, which is this variant, I'm going to change the value of this visible property to false because it shouldn't be visible. And for this one, I'm going to change the visible property to true because it will be visible. And I'm going to select these two variants now and set the clear value to false because at this stage, we shouldn't be able to see this button at all. All right. So far, so good. The next step is to somehow mask this notification card. The way we do that is like this. Since we put this notification card inside another frame, we can simply select it here inside our variant and using the arrow keys, I can just move it up just like that. However, it's still visible. That's because we need to select our variant here and check this clip content checkbox. And as soon as I do that, as you can see, it's gone. So we somehow masked it. I'm going to go to the prototype tab and I'm going to connect this variant to this variant. All right. The trigger should be set to after delay. I'm going to set it to 3000 milliseconds or three seconds. And here we need to have smart animate. So let's go ahead and use this notification component and see how it works. I'm going to drag and drop an instance of it here. OK, let's align it to the top edge of our screen, just like this. And I'm going to select this detail page and hit play. All right. So here we have an issue. And I think that's because we forgot to check this checkbox for this variant as well. So I'm going to clip content here and let's refresh the page. There we go. Now it works properly. However, we need to have some top margin, right? We don't have any margin at the moment. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to select this card here in my second variant and I'm going to align it to the bottom instead of top. And if I just refresh it now, it works just fine. But here we have too much margin. So maybe I can align it to the center instead. Yeah, I think now we have enough top margin. So the first step is done. But what about the drag interaction? For that, I'm going to bring this clear button inside this variant. OK, just put it inside and just align it to the center and just move it to the right side. 
Okay, next I'm going to decrease its opacity to 0% to make it invisible because here, as you can see, the clear property is set to false. So we shouldn't be able to see that particular button. Okay, now we need one more variant here. I'm going to select this one, hit this plus icon here to add one more variant. And what I'm going to do now is this. I'm going to select these two elements, the notification card and this clear button. And using the arrow keys, I'm going to move everything to the left side, just like that. And let me select this clear button and increase the opacity to 100% to make it visible again. We need to move it to the left side. Okay, it looks good now. Let's create an interaction between this variant and this one. So to do it correctly, it's very, very important to select this notification card, not this variant. Why? Let me show you why. If I select this variant here and I try to connect it to this variant and I go ahead and change the trigger from unclick to undrag, look what happens. You see that as soon as I drag it a little bit, this animation will be played and it's done. That's not what I want. I really want to be able to control this interaction by myself. So that's why I said we need to add this interaction to this notification card itself, not to the variant. So that's a very important point to keep in mind. I'm going to remove this interaction and instead I'm going to select this notification card and I'm going to connect it to this variant. All right. And now if I set it to undrag, everything should work properly. I can do it both ways. So I can select this one as well and just connect it back to this one and set the trigger to undrag and smart animate. So let's see if it works properly now. And now I'm able to drag it to the left or right, just like this. It works just fine. However, we have an issue here. As you can see, it's somehow masked both on the left side and right side. So we need to fix that. If I just select this instance and I try to increase the width just like this, let's see if it fixes the issue. Yeah, it works just fine, but now we have this issue. As you can see, there is no margin in between. That's because of our constraints, all right? So here, I'm gonna select this clear button. And as you can see, the constraints are set to top and left. If I set it to top and right instead, for this one as well, I'm going to set it to top and right. Let's see if it works. Yeah, it works, but now we have too much margin. So let me just move it to the left side a little bit. All right, now it looks much better, but there is one last step we need to take. We need to make this clear button interactive as well. So let's do that. The only thing we need to do is to select this variant, hit this add variant button. Next, I'm going to select the elements inside these two, hit K to select the scale tool, and I'm just going to scale it down just like this. All right, I'm going to set the value to 0.01, and also I'm going to decrease their opacity to 0% to make them disappear completely. And now if I select this clear button here, go to prototype, and just connect it to this last variant here. The trigger should be on click, smart animate. So now it should work. Let's give it a try. There we go. If you want to learn how to design UI cards like a pro, make sure to check out this video. And as usual, thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video helpful. Have a beautiful day and see you next time.